Hey everyone, this is Emi Chicken from Team Pandori. Today we're going to show you how to add games to MULEC. We'll give you three variations, so let's get to it. First method is to use Network. On our MULEC box, we're going to press Start, then go down to Network Settings. In this menu, we'll see if we're connected or not. Not connected. So now I'm going to hook up my Ethernet cable. Wait 5 seconds, press back, and then return to this menu. It'll give us an IP address and tell us that we're connected. Awesome. If this doesn't work, or you want to use Wi-Fi, go down to Enable Wi-Fi, switch this over, and then go down to Wi-Fi Systed, and then select your network. I'm going to choose Monkey Balls here, and then go down to Key, and then tap in my password. No looking guys. Now that's all tapped in, we'll hit back. Return to the same menu, and we should get an IP address and connected. Right now we're going to go to a PC on the same network. Here's my main. I'm going to hit the Windows button and then load up Explorer. In the address bar, I'm going to click it and then backslash backslash E-M-U-E-L-E-C. Emuelic. Here we can see all of the shared folders from the Emuelic box. All we need to do now is copy over the ROMs. So this ROMs folder here is a list of all the systems that Emuelic can support. If you need more information, please check out the Emuelic GitHub. It'll give you the ROM path, the system platform name, and also the file extensions in which Emuelic craves. Now simply select and drag over all of our ROM files. So Amiga to Amiga, Amstrad CPC to Amstrad CPC. Mega Drive. If you want to use any Naomi, it is better to use the zip files of the MAME set as the DAT and LST need the BIOS files. We'll check them out in a later episode. The speeds are fairly low here as I'm using the Wi-Fi to copy these over. I suggest using LAN cable if you can. It's PSP, we've got CSO and ISO files. CSO files use a lot less space than ISOs as they are compressed. The second method that we'll go into is copying over via FTP. We're going to use FileZilla here. And then in the Site Manager, we'll make new site. Up here, we're going to click SFTP. And then the host, we're going to type in our IP address. That's what our MULX box says in the network settings. Down here, we'll keep that as normal. User, we'll type root. And then password is emulec, so E-M-U-E-L-E-C. Oh, didn't work. Ah, IP address. There we go. So very similar to the first method, we select our ROMs folder, and then simply copy over each file, like so. I find that using FTP software like this gives more reliable results than our first method. We can also faff around a bit more if the opportunity shows itself. You can also see the quicker copy speeds as I'm using the Ethernet cable right now. For the third method, we'll simply use microSD with a reader and then pop it into our computer. This will only work with Emuelic 4 onwards. But wait, we can only see Emuelic. Don't worry, it's there. All we need to do is right click on this PC and manage. And then click on disk management.
Now we're going to scroll down to find EE -E ROMs. So that's where Emuelic is. There's a second partition in the center. And on the right, we have EE -E ROMs. Right click this box. And then press on Change Drive Letters and Paths. Click Add. And then OK. Once you close this, you should be able to see E ROMs is there. And now I can use this as we did earlier. The E ROMs folder is, yeah, simply the ROMs folder. So just copy over Amiga to Amiga, Amstrad to Amstrad, etc. This may be the quickest method for many people. Once you've copied over everything you need, right click the EROMs, then eject. It'll give you that it's safe to remove, then take it out, pop it into your emulate box, and then restart. If you found that no games are actually showing here, press start, go to game settings, and then update games lists. If Emuelic finds the games, it'll add the menus, select one, it'll load up the game. Right now, the menus don't look that pretty, so we're gonna use the scrape option to download graphics and videos for these menus. So press start, go down to scrape, and then near the bottom, we're gonna type in the username and password. You can make a free account on the screenscraper.fr website. Once this information is in, go down to the bottom, scrape now. Press start. When it's finished, it says update game lists to apply changes. So that's what we're gonna do. Go up to the game settings, update games lists, and there we go. Let's do the same for the Super Nintendo. You can, if you wish, select all the systems, but it's your call. Nice, nice baby. Simply selecting the game and pressing a circle will bring us to it. If you want to exit, hold your hotkey and press start twice. And yeah, we don't actually need BIOS for most systems. There's a Mega Drive. Now, it will work if you use the MAME zips. Remember, you need later than MAME 0.226. And some PSP for you. If you ever get a red screen like this one, check the bottom. It may tell you that you're missing some BIOS files. If you want to copy these into the BIOS folder, please go ahead. We will cover these in a future video. Hope you enjoyed this. Please give us a like and subscribe. And we'll see you soon. Ta-ra!